Hello everybody, my name is Kate Moore. Welcome back for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're back with this game, of course. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to finish it, how I'm going to finish it. But uh, because this game is so long, it's unbelievable. I still haven't finished it. I, I'm at like 28 parts now. So I haven't finished it, guys. This is just like a Witcher 3. It's probably going to take as, uh, as long as the Witcher 3. Which that took me like 30, uh, 40 parts almost. And that was back when I I did uh, 50 minute videos, and I did a couple of those for this too. So imagine, guys, this is a really long game. It's unbelievable. I'm not the type to do one hour videos all the time. You know, it takes a long time to edit that afterwards. So I don't want to do that. We only have one mission left right now. It's with Sadie. So I guess we have to go to Sadie. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go to Ansberg, uh, well Beaver Hollow actually. And uh, I'll fast travel to Saint Denis just so I can talk to uh, Sadie and do the mission with her. Not gonna waste too much time here. I just wanted to do my intro really quick, see how it, it would go. So let's just see you guys in uh, in a minute. Here we are now in Saint Denis, guys. We have arrived. I had to take a taxi because I accidentally tra fast travel to Ansberg instead of Saint Denis uh, first. So I had to use a coach, a stagecoach, in, in act to actually go into uh, Saint Denis. So that's pretty. That's not good at all because I had to pay money, but that's okay. It's only eight dollars, really. I've got all the money in the world, so yeah, I don't mind it really at all. So we'll just go ahead and talk to Sadie. It's the only mission we've got really, and I'm interested to work with her a lot. We're working a lot with her this time around. I feel like. A couple of last chapters, I've been all about her and uh, Arthur, really. It's been about Sadie. Uh, she's doing a great job protecting the camp and everything. I feel like um, it's, uh, it's all about her, really. She's probably going to be the next one after Arthur dies and everything. That's going to have to catch up and or like old Dutch away, like uh, protect him or something. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this in this. Okay. Come on. Now you're telling me that even with that costume, you see that beard and that hair? Look how much hair and beard I've got. You think that they're not going to notice there's something wrong with me here? I don't look like a copper at all with all that beard. Come on now. For Christ's sake. It's not going to work. This is... Alright, whatever. Sadie, you look great though. You look absolutely beautiful. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen. Yeah, I'm not comfortable at all. Look at this. This is really tight. Arthur is uh, he's used to having costumes that are not that tight, you know. This is really tight. Good lord. Got a, we're a cop now. Guess we were a sheriff for a couple of times. And now we're a cop all of a sudden. We downgraded we'll for some cool reason. It's unbelievable so. though that uh, we came all this far just to do you mean? just to be sick you really. It's cool? it's kind of sad that really? Arthur is to gonna die and everything. So often now. This and I mean I would have liked to, for Arthur to survive. Would have been pretty nice, Don't but 
I mean, you it's pretty cool too. I, it's also too. cool that he, he's gonna die because there's something that happens, you know, there's gonna be an end to exactly. a story, an actual end. We'll you can't just have a happy ending for a game, you know, it's just not for anything really. I hate happy endings, I absolutely hate those. I always want something that happens, something sad at least, or like something that drives people. Something that drives people to want more of the the other another right. series or something like Good. that. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? We gotta follow you to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. I don't like this for one bit. It's not gonna go oh, well for us, Dutch. Officer. Yes, sir. I mean, the Driscolls gave us a lot of problems. They even killed one of ours. Ba yes, way back, it's actually the chance. first one that ever died. Swing by his neck. Hey. But hey. I mean, come on now. No, I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know. This is just I being stupid, know. going after well, them I like guess that. This isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Okay. Well, look, Dutch. He's gonna get his due, sure. But he's not the only one who's got a problem Let's with go. us. Fight. Like everyone's got a problem with us. It's not gonna end here. It's ne it never will. What's going on here? Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what are you saying? The hole's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. To it. Yeah. Okay, so gonna just shoot everyone. So That's your plan of escape right there? In the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building maybe. And get them. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Alright. I'll try to do it silently. Find a way to the rooftop, okay? Well, there's a ladder right there, so that's kind of easy. Let's figure this out, guys. I can go inside here. There I go. I know Dutch. Stop telling me what to do. I know what to do. There was a lady right there. Okay. So approach the shooter's location. And where would that be? Okay. We just gotta go on the rooftop, I guess. And how do... Okay. Good lord, we're... We're assassin... It's Assassin's Creed all of a sudden, guys. <laughs> Running on rooftops. It's crazy in here. We're doing some parkour. Well, we okay, this is the shooter's location. Hold on now! No, 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 no. I saw him coming a while back. Alright, you're gonna get your ass murdered. Oh, shit! He knifed the fuck out of me. No, hold on now. I got I gotta beat your ass. No you don't. Oh hang on. Beat your fucking ass. There we go. We got him guys. I got him. Don't have my hat anymore, but it's okay. I really have to pick up the rifle? Okay. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna make sure he dies? I took care of the sniper, I guess. What am I uh, supposed to do now? Just go and watch it? Oh, there he is. There he is. I could shoot his rope and just free him too. That would kind of be funny. Would piss off Dodge for some reason. Why would I do that though? 
Well, you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges... This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence... Colmo Driscoll is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Sadie has just lost her goddamn mind, guys. Well, <laughs> for once, it's not even Dutch who's doing the problem. It's actually Sadie. What the hell? Oh, Sadie, come on now. Why would you do that? Oh my god, I missed it. Now I got a new sniper duties. And you know damn well I'm the worst sniper in the business. Like, come on, there's two things you don't want me to do in a game. Stealth and sniping. Come on. There we go, I got him. So far I'm doing alright. If you're not in a movement, I'm, I'm, I'm good, but... There we go, got him. Anybody else? A couple of coppers here. Now they're getting shot by who? Oh, there's another guy right here. Oh my shit. How did he serve? Okay. He dodged the bullet like he was... Uh, goddamn flash for some reason. Oh my. How? Like, how am I missing these shots? Honestly, come on. There we go. Got him. Anybody else? There's a... Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. There we go. Got him. Can I get out of these get this goddamn sniper, please? Thank you. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. So that's it. That was the mission. And Sadie completely lost her mind right there. I'm going all right. We saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. Yeah, it's always one less the thing, though. Government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? Mary again? She can't leave me alone, can she? Who is? I just ref I refused her twice. It's like, come on. My dear Arthur, I am sorry I asked for your help with Daddy, but at the time, I felt that I had nowhere else to turn. After reading the recent events in the newspaper, I understand much better now just how busy you have been. I don't imagine you will receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. Dream by yourself, lady. I miss you. And I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant and the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again and I fear I have broken yours. For that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. 
I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. All right, she's finally leaving me for good. She's leaving me alone, guys. Good, uh, good choice right there. Good choice. I wasn't. I am not gonna help her. Like, uh, it's time for her to, to go by already. Leave me alone, you know. I got a ring. Not gonna do any. I'm probably gonna sell it. <laughs> I'm such a jackass, guys. I'm loving it. I'm just gonna sell it. Honestly, I really don't care about her goddamn ring. Uh, so we've got two missions, really. Uh, we've got um, a mission with Trelawney again. So Trelawney's got another mission, and we've got another mission all the way up to... Where's the other mission at? What is that? Eagle Flies. We've got a mission with him. All the way there, though. I'm, sure I'm probably going to have to fast travel to Valentine to go there. Dutch has convinced Eagle Flies to take action against the military. Dutch has done what now? I talked with Eagle Flies. He was fine. He was a good guy. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to stop them, guys. I'm gonna have to stop the Indians from doing something stupid. But for now, we're right there. So we might as well just do the mission with Trelawney first off. Because we're right there. So I'm gonna see if I can take some... Uh, mix a uh, some pomade into my ear or something if I have some I don't I don't have pomade huh man I've got such a big hair Whoa, that's crazy all right let's just talk to the uh, Trelawney guys what you got for me Josiah I um I was uh, leaving again yes just leaving I'll see you soon <coughs> perhaps what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Well, let's go. We're gonna help the, uh, the chief. Y'all do it for Charles. Charles telling me, I like Charles a lot, so Charles, if he's telling me he wants me to do something, I'll do something for him. I don't like Dutch anymore. I, I used to like Dutch a lot in the beginning. I don't like him anymore because he's just playing crazy. And Micah never really liked him. Like, well, I actually liked him sometimes because of his crazy psychopath type, but now that there's two of them, it's just not fun anymore. Like, I, I lost the fun, complete, uh, the fun completely. We gotta follow Rain's fall. 
do the mission. It's suiting that there's a mission with Eagle Flies. If right before that, has so ever so happens that we are with Rainfall. Now I wonder what will happen if we go to Rainfall and everything works out. Does it mean it will cancel the mission with Dutch? Or do we have to go with Dutch anyways because we gotta stop them from doing whatever they do because we're gonna have sign of peace treaty or something, you know? I'm hoping that it is gonna happen, that peace treaty is gonna like be signed completely and they're gonna stop messing with uh, with him, with Rain's fall. I love the fact that I'm slowly transforming myself into a good guy for some reason. Like I, I was for a long time just a bounty hunter, someone that was doing stuff for money, mercenary basically. And now all of a sudden, well here we are, helping uh, Rain's fall with a uh, peace negotiations and stuff. It's crazy when you think about it. It absolutely is crazy. All right, Rain's fall. Yes, we're gonna unmount right here our horse. Uh, I'm probably gonna need to put out my guns or something. No. All right, we don't. Even us don't. Uh, we don't have rights to our guns. We really, be uh, gotta have unarmed situation here. But they can have guns, sure, right? They can have guns, but we can't. This is stupid shit. I don't have any guns. I have my revolver, I guess, but oh well. <sighs> Colonel Favors. Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Uh, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Um, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. What are you confused about? Your men are little more than criminals. Criminals, huh? Opinion. In what world? In peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... God damn, Arthur. You're... You okay, man? Something Fucking, I'm dying again. Take him away. This is not the time. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, uh, I'll be fine. Thank you. Fuck, Arthur, this is not the time to be sick. Oh my god, this is causing me problems. You know going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or uh, attempt to going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. Why does These goddamn traitors, guys. He doesn't want to what is going on life? here? His whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? 
Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. That's enough. Let him go. You better back off, ladies. Let's get out of here. Your bullshittery is out of hand, all right? You may not like the red skins, but I'm tired of your bullshit, all right? Now you're gonna learn to respect people, god damn it. All right, let's go into our horse. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. We don't have a choice but to go to war, really. I mean, I hate to say it, but Eagle Flies is like... He's just got, like, he, he might be right. He might be right, guys. We don't have a choice. These goddamn, these goddamn cavaliers, these, uh, these uh, Americans don't know what the fuck's going on with their life. So we need to, uh, we don't have a choice. Really. Now we gotta get rid of these. Oh, watch out, Charles. I almost shot you. Here we go. I got these guys. Oh my God, I missed it. I hate doing that shit. Shooting while I'm moving is not good. He's right there. Got him. There's more people in front of us. Almost crashed right there. What? What's going on? Holy sh... Hold on now. We gotta protect Rain's Fall. What the... Oh my shit. Where's Rain's Fall at? Okay, he's, he's right there. We gotta protect him. Come on. Protect the, the chief. Let's go! Where, where are the other engines? There we go, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, I can't believe that bullshit, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're good. There we go, we're good. And, uh... Oh my god, come on! Missing all my shots right here. Return to Captain Monroe. Oh shit. This is not it. Okay. You know what? I'm right there, Captain Monroe. I'm gonna have to get off my horse right here because this is getting ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna have I'm gonna need my sniper or something. I don't even have the right guns, like honestly. Come on. There we go, got him. I'm gonna die here. That's what's what is gonna happen. There's a guy right there. There's an, uh, one more guy, one more guy. You got him, uh, Charles? Because I'm gonna die here. Thank you. Man, I gotta heal myself up. Let me just do my satchel real quick. I gotta have something here. There we go. God damn. I need to heal myself up again. Uh, maybe this is gonna help. So something that can give me. There we go. There we go. Now I'm good as. I'm good as new. All right, let's go, Captain. Let's get the head out of here. I thought Rain's fault was was with us, but I guess he 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 left before us. This shit is crazy. I can't believe, man. These ignorance. Supposed to be, a, well, it's supposed to be a treaty where people talk. These guys don't talk. All they do is bullshit. It's bullshitting. Where's my, where's my gun? Carabine repeater. There we go. God damn it. There we go. Oh my god. How did, how did he survive that first off? There we go. We're good. Not probably not for long, guys, but we'll try to. I'll shoot people if I need to. These men don't fucking care about anything. They just don't. So you gotta just leave. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. 
you some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend? He's leaving too, huh? Everybody's leaving. Reverend. God damn. What, what am I waiting for? Here? Why am I not leaving? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away. Yeah? I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense. He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some nonsense spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior, because that's what you are. That's all I am, a fighter, a killer, and a crazy man. So be it. You lived your way, you'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. All right then, it's official. Reverend is done. So Trelawney left. The Reverend left. Uh, John probably left by now. I don't know if he's still there or not. But Abigail, John, and uh, the little kid is are all gone. There's not many people left, and I'm still there for some reason. I'm still hanging out. I don't know why Arthur is still there. Like, why is he not just leaving? Just goddamn leave. Yes, you're a bandit. Just go be a bandit somewhere else. Not with Dutch, you know? Anybody but Dutch. Really. It's not that complicated. I don't know, guys. We got two missions now. I guess we still have the Eagle Fly mission. And there's a new mission that popped off. I guess a Beaver's Hollow. Which is with Sally. So... She needs to speak to me. I don't know if she ever... I'm gonna try to convince her maybe to leave too. I would like her to leave because I wonder if anything bad to happen to her and the rest of the people are gonna stay with Dutch or the ones that are gonna die I guarantee you so I don't want her to die because I'm gonna I'm sticking with Dutch I'm gonna die because of it so oh well I've got I'm gonna leave it right now I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna see you guys for the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video keep it easy